Harvard's Professor George Church is one of the world's leading geneticists and one of Time magazine's 100 most influential people. He thinks that we owe it to the mammoths to bring them back from extinction. His laboratory is using genetic engineering to fight disease, reverse the aging process, and since 2008, bring the mammoth back to life. It is a bit like science fiction. The hope is we'll have initially one and then many uh, individuals, maybe some diversity. They almost certainly will look like a mammoth. They hopefully will be comfortable in the cold. George's team uses a cutting edge technology called CRISPR. It works by making gene edits, precisely cutting and modifying sections of DNA. Using CRISPR, he can engineer an animal's genome to turn it into a different species. Everything about the elephant mammoth project has gone very quickly. Didn't even have to recruit people. Everybody wanted to, to participate in one way or another. George needs the best quality mammoth DNA to genetically engineer the Asian elephant into a new hybrid species. By inserting genes for fat covering, tusk shape, ear and tail size, and of course fur, he aims to create a hybrid mammoth. We have a, a forward leg of the woolly mammoth. It's a dry specimen. Where would you like a sample ah, to be taken? I, I think maybe from him or maybe the bone marrow. Exactly. Everybody ready? OK, fingers, everyone clear? Right here. Thank sure. you. Marrow in the thick leg bones is comparatively well insulated from freezing and thawing, so it could contain the best preserved DNA. When an animal dies, its DNA quickly begins to break apart. Unless it's frozen rapidly after death, the DNA will break down into tiny pieces. George hopes that the DNA inside Valeri's frozen mammoth specimens has suffered less damage over the years, and that the DNA fragments have survived as longer pieces. Only then will he be able to get the accurate map of the mammoth genome he needs. Do you really think it's possible? to genetically engineer a new species of mammoth. It feels still a very long way off. We, we've done things like this for the pig. We've, we've changed dozens of genes in the pig and brought them all the way from some molecules in the lab to embryos, to piglets, to adult pigs. And so it's, it seems like it's not that daunting, really. It does feel like you yeah. could do it, which means you just have to think about whether you should. Yes. Mm. Right. I mean. The, the shoulds come down to what are the benefits versus the risks. And there have been many cases of reintroduction or invasive species where you can dial it back. That's one so you, thing I'm not worried about. When you talk to George, he makes it all sound so simple. Don't worry about the ethics, because we're going to talk to people. There's always chances to dial it back. You say, hang on a second. We're talking about creating an entirely new species, an entirely new animal, and then letting it loose on an ecosystem um, to see, just to see, to test whether it might work. But can you dial back an animal? Do you dial, I mean, what does that mean when it comes to, a, you know, a, an intelligent, social animal like an elephant? But you still can't help but be carried on this wave of excitement and the thrill of potential new discoveries and, and the chance to make something new.